G'day, Dave o. Roberts here. We are going to go through the Gospel of Mark together in order to get a broad view of the life of Jesus during his time here on earth. I shall be reading from the World English Bible Translation, which used to be the American Standard Version. It is in the public domain and is therefore copyright free. Come on in, come inside to hear and see about the most amazing person who ever lived, Jesus Christ. Before we start reading the Gospel of Mark itself, let's have a brief introduction to this Gospel. The Gospel of Mark presents Jesus Christ as the servant of the Lord, coming in fulfilment of the Old Testament prophecies. Jesus offers his miracles and his teaching as his credentials. Jesus gathers his disciples while proclaiming the kingdom of God and its message. Jesus is found to be teaching in short parables which hide the truth from those who are hardened against him. While at the same time, they are preparing and instructing those who are responsive to him. Jesus Christ calls all those who are going to follow him to serve him by serving others and to deny themselves by taking up their own cross, just as he took up his cross. There is very little about the resurrection in this gospel, possibly because the end of the original scrolls have been lost. There are some key verses to understanding this gospel. Mark chapter 8, verse 34 to 36. He called the multitude to himself with his disciples and said to them, Whoever wants to come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross and follow me. For whoever wants to save his life will lose it, and whoever will lose his life for my sake and the sake of the good news will save it. For what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and forfeit his life? And then we have Mark chapter 10, verse 45. For the Son of Man also came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. As we go through the Gospel, see how those verses are certainly key to understanding the Gospel of Mark. And so, on to chapter 1. 